notice the antenna that's the antenna that uh, has caused me a bit of grief that goes to the circuit board that end of the circuit board there is the protection circuit and it's a bit hard to see but I've actually disabled a lot of that circuit I will, I will explain on a schematic in this particular speaker what was happening was that the display light when there's a fault the circuit shorts the audio input to the speaker and uh, and uh, what happens is it also turns the light off and for a period of about seven seconds it uh, the light dims and the and the level of the audio drops as well and then it returns and if the fault's still there it'll it'll the light the light will uh, go out again like this I, I had uh, many uh, panels in this uh, file and I've replaced some but when it was all finished I was having the protection circuitry still come on and come on and, and off that on and off cycling about every uh, uh, 15 seconds or, or less sometimes and it's obvious because a the, the level of the audio drops and the the little light on the quad the quad logo light goes dim so what do we do on the 63s there's no light uh, of course um, there's a, a little uh, red lead on the on the rear of the uh, of the speaker that's all and in in this the uh, the on light is actually now the quad symbol at the front but it also is connected to the protection circuitry so it doubles up as a on light as well as uh, an indication that the protection circuitry has acted so why why was mine uh, cycling faulty uh, as far as I could tell there was no arcing or splatting in the speaker at all and uh, what I found was that uh, it was very sensitive to the uh, RF from an arc over one way to uh, test these units is to use a a gas lighter I'll show you okay so anyway my theory is that uh, the antenna that's that there is too sensitive and uh, I suspect that there is a possibly some small uh, micro fractures somewhere in the panels and uh, causing ever so slight um, emissions uh, and uh, being picked up by the antenna and uh, shutting down the circuitry and that uh, it was was beyond the joke by disabling this protection circuitry I found that uh, the speaker works fine I, I don't hear any any crackles or zaps or anything it's uh, so if there is any small arc overs that I can't hear um, anywhere in the speaker 
then it's uh, it's not causing any trouble at the moment. And uh, my attitude is that if it ever uh, gets any worse, well, I, I can then repair the faulty panel, whichever it might might be, and uh, and go from there. So I may never actually uh, reactivate the uh, protection circuitry, and uh, I don't think it does a lot anyway. Uh, I'll show you why in the schematic. And uh, yeah, so now it's, it's been good. If it ever fails in the future, I'll just fix it like I have before. Uh, just find out which panel it is. I think when I was investigating this uh, intermittent uh, dropout of sound, I think I was trying to uh, locate which panel might have been doing it. And you do that by by uh, there's a there's a wire of EHT that goes up through all of them, so I was uh, disconnecting uh, panel by panel, trying to see if I could uh, find which panel was doing it, and there I, I had no success in in trying to eliminate panels or or zone in on a panel that was causing the uh, the RF emission to be picked up by the antenna, so. So I gave up, and that's my plan now is to just, you know, like the help computer on the, on the, uh, on their ship, uh, he, he said, well, let's put it back in and wait till it fails. And that's what I'll do. And uh, that could be a long time away. Okay, uh, this is a circuit of uh, the ESL2905. I don't have one for the 2912. They seem to be impossible to get, but I'm assuming that they're very similar, if not the same. Now, as you can see by the, uh, the red arrow, that is the antenna that's uh, sticking out the front of the device. And what that does is it, uh, it picks up uh, really high, <coughs> high RF frequencies into the base of the uh, transistor, TR3. That turns the transistor on which uh, then causes the collector to be low. The low causes the triple five time, timer to uh, activate and it sends a pulse out on pin three, T1, which is the um, triac or, or thyristor, something like that, which then provides a low on the, uh, on the, uh, on the top there. What that basically is doing is shorting out the audio signal and thus lowering the uh, the signal to the uh, the diode array up here. So, what it's doing is it's causing the shorted input. Well, it can damage amplifiers, some amplifiers, but uh, in this case, what it's doing is. shorting the audio and turning on the uh, LED. The LED is the one which is uh, in the front at the bottom and uh, when that goes uh, when it goes high here 
that means that it's turning off the LED, which is why the why the light dims when you uh, when this the circuit is activated. Now, what I have done is I've tried to put capacitors to limit the noise on the uh, voltage rail there, which uh, I think is about 12 volts. I've also tried to put a capacitor on the base to the transistor to make it uh, not so sensitive and uh, also on the collector to make it not so sensitive. Uh, none of these uh, did any good and, uh, and in, in fact uh, you, you would you would think that uh, actually by by shorting the base to ground this would still the triple five timer would still activate which, which uh, is uh, what the so so in the end I've uh, I've uh, I believe I've shorted between pin two and and ground, and that has uh, snubbed it from doing any any action whatsoever. I'm not worried about disabling this protection circuit because. All it does is reduce the audio. That's all it does. Now, the audio, when it's amplified by these transformers, yes, it's a high voltage, which uh, goes up to, which goes up to the uh, stators, and uh, they are high voltages. That one, and that one. But the thing is, uh, it doesn't. The, the high voltage is still there from the uh, from the diaphragm. Uh, as you can see here, this uh, voltage uh, multiplier circuit has no limits on it. It it will just keep working and provide the uh, whatever voltage it is. I think five and a half kV and uh, it will not stop so it will always be there so the only high voltage that uh, the this protection circuit stops is the audio yeah now the audio is also the audio is protected by this uh, Zener diode array. If the voltage of the audio gets too high, the Zener array limits the uh, peaks, and uh, when it does, this little red light comes on. But it's a it's a reasonably soft clip.